What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Joey Junior 93, aka That White Cracker 93, aka Zombie Boss 93. This is your boy Terra for Life 69. You, you guys know my credentials already, so I gotta keep saying them. <laughs> Alright, first thing is first. We have the rematch with father and son, Brock Lesnar and Ryback versus DX, Triple H, and Shawn Michaels. Another 30 minute Iron Man match. The ironic part is it's at it's at the WrestleMania arena, which I did not I did not plan this, alright? So for those of you that think I did, I did not, to be honest. And we have of course the WrestleMania 29 results for you guys, because I wanna know too of what the fuck happened. I just got out of work and I'm fucking hyper as fuck right now. And I don't know why. I just wanna know what happened. So, you know, try hard whenever you're ready, you know, get in depth, and let's get in this bitch. Alright. And the titles match. on the line again. Tag team titles. Alright, go. Alright, the first match it was in the uh what's it called? That pre pre, pre show? Yeah. The pre show. You know, told Joey told me to watch it, so I was watching it while doing clan ops. Yeah, real quick, I forgot that WrestleMania started at seven, so I apologize when I used to say seven thirty. It was actually six o'clock for the pre show. So I apologize for saying it wrong. I yeah. continue. So I was watching it. And it was, you know, Wade Barrett versus The Miz for the Intercontinental Championship. And, you know, they went back and forth. Hey, my fault. Sorry, guys, a little tired. But uh, they went back and forth. You know, Wade Barrett was taking advantage, you know, going hard. The Barrett Barrage, Barrett 50 Cal over here <laughs> going in. And then out of nowhere, it, it was going like back and forth. But Barrett, Wade Barrett seemed like he had like the upper hand in the entire match then he hit the wasteland and then uh the miss countered he he kicked out and then when uh wait when uh way better that wasn't looking really he like got him in like the figure four lock made him tap out to win the title and then the miss had an orgasm <laughs> and then the next match to start the wrestlemania you know everybody's like oh bet we're finally we're back you know you know where it all began well, sort of, not really, but whatever. So the first match was the Shield versus uh, Randy Orton, Big Show, and Sheamus. And this match, I don't know, I, I didn't really like it. It was okay, you know. Shield was just triple teaming everybody when they got tagged in. Big Show tagged himself in because he was getting pissed because Randy Orton and Sheamus weren't tagging him in. They like tagged himself in. And they, I guess he, he got tagged out by uh, Randy Orton because he was getting the shit beat out of him. Like, literally, he was getting beating up bad, 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 bad. And then, well, what else happened here? I'm pretty sure Sheamus got beat up too. You know, they, they were just triple teaming bad. You, you'll see it later on, Joey. And then they tagged in Randy Orton. Randy Orton hit the comeback. Surprisingly, I didn't see an RKO go off. I missed a little bit of the match, but... I remember seeing uh, Randy Orton getting speared by Roman Reigns. And then that's it. You know, and Dean Ambrose picked up the win. Wow. They get the victory to him? Yeah, but, but Sheamus, Sheamus was going in, though. He, he was doing that little chest shit to oh Dean Ambrose goodness. and Seth Rollins. <laughs> yeah. And then, all right, next match. If I'm not mistaken. Let me just look on. Coming. Anyway. I know, I know, uh, you heard, well, what do you think about that, you know, uh, what's his name, uh, the, the, uh, Shield winning, what do you think is gonna happen? Um, I'm not surprised, I guess, you know, um, it, it, it was pretty obvious that the Shield had to win because they're gonna get a push this year, so, you know, technically, you know, they debuted it, I guess you can say, you know, whenever they had their first match was at, at TLC back in 2012 in December. And people didn't really know much about these three hooligans, you can say. <laughs> you know, they're just coming out, you know, helping CM Punk, you know, helping the father, you know, retain his WWE Championship against Ryback and, you know, shit like that. And then what happens? We find out that the Shield was working for Paul Heyman, you know, illegally, of course, and then helping CM Punk. And then, you know, after that, CM Punk's like, I don't want you guys helping me, stuff like that. And what happened? It just stopped, you know. The Shield just became their own three-man fucking army. And just beat the fuck out of people with triple power bombs, the, the Roman Reigns spear. You see a DDT by Triple H over here, and a whole bunch of shit. 
and uh, the, you know stuff like that. So I'm not really surprised that they had to win again, but whatever, it happens. Can't do nothing about it. Anyway, the next match was uh, Mark Henry versus Ryback, oh, and I was I was shocked of what happened. You know, in the beginning, you know, it was a little bit of back and forth. They were hitting each other hard. Then uh, Ryback put him in like was gonna put him in a shell shock, and oh then and then basically uh, Ryback got crushed because uh, Mark Henry was holding onto the ropes. Literally just fell on him. But it was 412 pounds, and he got the pinfall. Like that? What? Not even yeah. a world's strongest slam? Yep. Yeah. He didn't do that? No. Wow. Fake match. And then, <clears throat> right back after the match, gave him a shell shock free of charge. All right. So at least something happened. I can't believe right back with his first lost illegally. First loss. Yeah, well, the, the Brad Maddox, the, the, you know, on singles competition, I mean. Oops, my bad. Somebody calls mama. You know, singles competition. Right. You know, because the, the Hell in a Cell incident, I don't consider that. When, you know, like, like Punk won, you can say, and retained his WWE Championship back in October, but it's the fucking Brad Maddox. Thinks he's so nice. I, I don't, as the referee, the illegal referee. So I don't really count that. All right. The next match was Team Hell No. Which is Dolph Ziggler and Biggie Langston. Oh, Biggie, what happened to Biggie? I want to know everything. All right, Biggie was going hard, yo. He was going hard Big in the paint. He was going hard in the paint. You know, fucking everyone up. Man. And then, you know, Ziggler came in, right? And I'm just gonna skip to the end because the match was was exciting at the end though. The All middle right. and the beginning was okay, but you know they were going hard. And then Biggie was getting beat up a little bit by uh, Daniel Bryan because he jumped off. And, and got on top of Biggie, and I thought they were gonna lose because Ziggler came out of nowhere and hit a zigzag on Kane. Oh my goodness! To the resurrection, though. To the fucking resurrection, I knew it. And then he went for the pin. Kane kicked out. And then Ziggler, Ziggler then got set up by uh, Kane. So then uh, Daniel Bryan came out of nowhere for the pin with a diving headbutt. Oh wow! For real? Wow. Yeah. That's it. He was hyped. Nigga, you saw Daniel Bryan's face when that nigga hit the diary headbutt. Thinking it was Chris Benoit. Man, Daniel Bryan went ham then. Then it was. I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you do the name. What? You know. The guy that does it. Fine. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, oh, the next match. Yeah. Oh. Fine. Dom. Go. Came out with a bunch of women. <laughs> You know, this guy's a pimp, yo. Every there, there was women dancing in front of him, and I said, yo, that nigga was going ham, you know, doing salsa or whatever the type of dance he was doing. Damn. And he came in, and then Chris Jericho came out, and, you know, he, you know, with the, the countdown and everything. Did Did he have a special entrance? No, nah, not really. He didn't. It, it, None it, of it, it kind of looked like it kind of looked like that the, that Millennium shit he always does. Wow. So, Chris Jericho versus Fandango, it was going hard in the paint, lots of counters, uh, Fan Fandango at one point of the match hit the double leg drop. Oh shit, That's look at that, don't get over here, right back, alright. Right. That's the finisher right there, Fandango, the, the double leg drop, <laughs> and then Chris Jericho kicked out, he tried it again, missed, uh, uh, Chris Jericho tried for the Walter uh, Jericho, and then... Well, that happened, uh, Fandango did that, though, the same year in the country that everybody does. You know, they got it, he gets out, and then, you, 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 you're beginning to be upset how he won. Wow. Sneaky pin. Hey, so it happens. Cheap pin, like a small package. Yeah. And wow. that's it. So, fuck. Duh. Go. Won his match in his debut. Yeah. Fine. In his debut. And then it was Alberto Barrio with the swagger. You know, they went hard. But, you know, it, it, it was like a long, so long match. You know, it was, it was going back and forth. But uh, the match was like basically decided because I think the swagger came to come to uh, this man. Uh, what's his name? Ricardo. 
Nu vă dau iau. Vă faci un mini cu mai lor. Bă, mă las. Nu mă rog de match. Și a țapta la la ambulcă. Ah, so the real retained the world title. All right. All right. I'm a little bit shocked at the results, but all right. At this point, Swagger had the victory. Because uh, what's the name? Uh, Ricard was injured. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Forgot about that. He came out in like crutches. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> and then it was Undertaker was to see him punk. Oh, so, so Ziggler did not cash in money in the bank. No, he didn't. Wow, what? I don't understand. Then it was Undertaker vs. CM Punk. Oh, shit, I gotta know. And then CM Punk came out in the Undertaker's debut color. Oh, my goodness. And then, if you put trying to my, yeah, I'll get into that later. And then the Undertaker came out. And every person in the machine was getting head. The dead man? It, the dead man. It took, him like fucking, it took him like 15 minutes to get to the ring. Damn. Well, that's, what, 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 you know, that's usual anyway. Right. Then this nigga is like, get the fuck in there, Eddie. <laughs> and then, you know, he takes out the hood. You know, he had a mohawk. I don't know, it looks awkward on him, I don't know why. Yeah. So anyway, you know, see him plunking on the taker. Oh. My. God. Thank you. Look at that match. Holy shit. I have never witnessed a better match between these two rivals over here. In my opinion, this is one of the best top five matches that I'm going to have in the street. Oh. Oh. It, it was going back and forth the whole time. Like in the beginning, uh, Undertaker was getting played by CM Punk. CM Punk in the beginning, I slapped the shit out of him. <laughs> like he slapped him hard. And Undertaker got his hands on him, started beating him up. And then he tried to go for old school. And then CM Punk, like, kind of reversed it with like a big ass on the And then he did it with speed. And then Sean Punk started being the fuck out on the picture. And then, you know, he started, he, he went to go use the announcing table. So what happened was that uh, Undertaker like, kind of got the announcer to use. Slammed uh, Sean Punk on the table. And then like, break it. He didn't like slam him to break it. It was just like, he banged the side, I guess. You could say. <laughs> and then, he put him on the apron. You know, started kicking him. Like infinite times, and then did the leg drop that he always does. And then CM Punk uh, does, I think he does that that kick. You know, that signature kick he does. Yeah. And then, you know, he starts getting an advantage, does the best in the world elbow drop on the table. Oh, on the shit. announcing table. Because he, he, he was always trying to end it with a, you know, best in the world elbow drop. But uh, before that, um, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, Undertaker choke slammed him, right? Oh shit! And then CM Punk kicked out, which is surprising. But anyway, you know after that, we did you know the fight in the ring a little bit more, and then CM Punk started getting cocky, and uh, we were going to turn him to go to sleep. Pretty sure uh, Undertaker reverses it at one point, puts him in the two stone, two stone thing. And CM Punk kicks out. Damn. He kicked out of the two And then, you know, started fighting some more. And then, you know, uh, CM Punk does that, that the world, you know, the rest of the world will drop again. Or he missed it. And then, he started again. Trying to go for uh, go to sleep. Like that's one of his finishes, and then uh, Undertaker just smashes his head into the floor with a tombstone. Man, is that a fucking resurrection? Oh my god, it was it was times two to the resurrection. Damn, twice. Damn. And then Dead Man won, so now he's twenty one and zero. Yep. Damn. All right, then it was uh, Brock Lesnar versus Triple H. Oh shit! Oh here they here they are right here. They want to know. Brock Lesnar and Triple H, you know, they were going hard. In the beginning of the match, Triple H came out in like some fucking. He came out of a skull, I guess. You know that skull he comes out of. Yeah. Came out of that, and uh, you know, Brock Lesnar was dominating in the beginning. You know, he was going hard in the paint. Yeah. He was going hard in the paint, and uh, at one point. Uh, after you know he was getting dominated, he slammed Triple H through the announcement table with like a 
Like, it was like a reverse, uh, you know when they pick them up to suplex them? Yeah. He, he, instead of throwing, you know, doing the normal suplex, he did the opposite way. Because he threw him. Wow. And b- broke the table. Was it the Spanish announcer table? Of course. Again? Yeah. And they get paid so much money for that. And then, you know, they went hard on each other. And then, uh, Shawn Michaels tried to interfere with a future music. He got F5 free of charge. Oh! Goodness. And then, tri- then uh, Bobby Lesnar got pedigreed free of charge. And then uh, he kept going for the Kimura lock. You know, he, he kind of he kind of got it from time to time. Not really though. And then at one point, uh, like like what, he 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 sent like Lesnar. What, like, what, like what happened was that uh, Lesnar had thrown uh, Triple H over like the barricade. And then Lesnar, like, I um, mean, Triple H, then, like, tackled him over. <laughs> and he was trying to climb, climb over. And then, you know, Lesnar grabbed the, the steel chair. And uh, he missed a couple of that. And then what happened also was that uh, uh, a lot of the time during the match, Brock Lesnar would, like, get the, the advances by doing, like, what's it called? Uh, suplexes, like, the end of suplexes that he really does. Yeah. And Paul Henry was always fucking shit too. Like the whole night, all he did was fucking shit. And he, he helped out Lesnar a lot too. Which, you know, was alright. And then, you know, Lesnar started picking up the, the steel steps. And, you know, started beating him up with it. And, you know, he, Lesnar was basically dominating this. I don't know why I didn't let Lesnar win. What, what, what were you thinking about this match, like, honestly? Oh, I don't know. First, first when when they made it a no holds barred, I'm like, all right, you know, this could be anyone's ball game. Then Paul Heyman comes out of nowhere, the, the sneaky snake that he is, or how Yugi would say, Kaiba, you snake. And then he's like, well, Triple H's career is on the line. I'm like, hmm, let's see. He's the COO, so if he loses the match, I didn't know this part, but if Triple H loses the match, he loses that that position that he's in. So and they can't have that because Mr. McMahon, you know, doesn't run the show by himself you know he has you know he has Triple H over here help him out so I'm like well Triple H has to win now it's like a must win you know ever since that loss to The Undertaker you know he has to come back and he lost to Lesnar at SummerSlam back in 2012 so he had to win the match and I would assume he was gonna win and he did so alright so anyway let me just finish the match so then the match was up so Triple H you know started beating up on uh uh, Brock Lesnar's arm and uh, like using like he would put it down on like a steel steps and use the chair oh shit you gonna mess it up cause he he, he put uh, Brock Lesnar in the Kimura lock what the f- <laughs> I'm serious uh, WTF and then to win the match which really did was uh he pedigreed him on the steel steps to the fucking resurrection yep yes alright and then the last match was the most anticipated match in WWE modern era history. The Rock versus Cena. Title on the yeah. line. WWE title, title on, on the, the line, line. yes. Yo, I, did not, I did not miss a second of this match. My eyes were peeled onto what was happening here. It was back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. How many finishers won all? Yo. Infinite? Yo. I think it took Cena three or four uh, 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 AAs. One. Oh, goodness, daddy won. I'm happy. That's it. I'm good. My night is complete. Also, also, uh, your man Cena, yeah. Like, if you can, later on, go to www.com before you watch the, the WrestleMania and you'll see a picture of Cena doing the, the Crippler Crossface. Oh, my goodness. So, Ben Wallace here again. God rest his soul. Yeah, he, the Crippler Crossface. And then, and then Jake Cope. Uh, Jake Cope. Like he told that he was never so better if I was too up. I'm like, well, I'm gonna let me do this. I'm gonna stop playing my fight. I'm gonna do a good job, but I was probably doing what I got. Anyway, you know, the match is going back and forth, you know, a lot of suplexes. And, you know, the usual thing. What, what I noticed a lot about this match is they try to do each other's finishers a lot. Yeah. Like, like uh, one of the things that happened was, uh, for example, The Rock did a spine buster, right? And he would go for the 
instead of going for the, you know, what we usually do would be the people's elbow, he tried for the, you know, you can't see me shit. Oh my goodness. So he he got that feud, and magically the rock stopped. <laughs> and then Cena got locked on him, kicked out. And Cena went for the, went, went for the, you know, people's elbow. And then he knew that the rock was tied in front of him. Do you remember how he lost that year? So he knew that was going to happen. So he tried to put the rock in the rock bottom to be caught him. And then rock, rock got out and rock bottled him. And rock bottled Cena. Again? Yeah. And then Cena kicked out. And then also Rock put him in the car too. Oh, but hearts here. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, Cena got out of it. And then later on, I don't know if it was right after later on, Cena put him in the SCFU, the real one, not the, you know. The real the one, Rock, all right. Then the Rock got out. And, yeah, and they started brawling, you know. It was back and forth, back and forth action. And then Cena rock bottom the Rock. What? Yeah. The Rock kick out? Yep. Oh. And then to end the match, you know, they were going at it, yo. They, it, 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 they were reversing the finishers infinite time. And then Cena hit the most hardest. Oh, yeah, before that, uh, Rock hit the people's elbow. And Cena kicked out. <laughs> so then Cena put up the Rock in the hit him with the most hardest. Hey, hey, I've ever seen in my life. And then won the match. And then, you know, they started giving heads to each other, you know, saying good job or not. Basically passing the torch. Finally. I had a rock to say, fine. John Cena's the WWE champion again. So the champ is here tomorrow night on Raw. I can't wait. Can't wait to see Daddy. I'm going to see him tonight right now anyway. I'm going to watch WrestleMania after this. And now, that's, that's it. it. Yep. <sighs> so what do you think? Fucking hyped. I, I got to see this. I'm, I'm only mad about two matches. The Undertaker and CM Punk and Ryback and Mark Henry. I wanted Ryback to win because I, I thought, you know, Ryback was going to get the push. You know, but apparently not. You know, I, I don't know. I, I thought Mark Henry was retiring. I don't know. Unless they lied about that. I don't know. And then, you know, CM Punk and, and The Undertaker. I wanted Punk to win. I wanted Punk to earn the respect. But he lost to Rock twice already. So now he lost again. So his KD's negative now again. You know, the first three months of 2013. But before that, he lost to Cena in the number one contenders match to see who would face Rock at WrestleMania. And then he lost to Rock twice. And then, you know. Well, no, no. He lost to Rock twice. Then he lost to Cena. And now he lost to Deadman. He's getting out of hand. So I don't understand, you know, why they made CM Punk lose again. You know, there's got to be a reason why. Can't just have the man lose for no reason. So, I don't know. Only two matches, though. That's it. Everything else, I'm, I'm good with. And apparently, there was no Brodus Clay match. Yeah, I know. So, I don't know. I guess that was a fake yeah, match. Look at this, look at this. Uh-oh, again. Oh, my God, on his son! No! No! <laughs> Not on his son! <laughs> He's like, son, you got to feel the pain sometimes. I'm sorry. And he's like, Daddy, what'd you do? Look at Hunter going for the pin in NF5. Oh, and they got the point. Shawn Michaels took advantage. No, Shawn Michaels? No, Triple H. Triple H took advantage. Triple H took advantage. Oh, Lesnar. Look at the points. Infinite points. Six and a half minutes left. Ridiculous. It's pretty ironic, right? That's the WrestleMania arena. Yeah, I'm the one that requested this arena. You know that. What happened? I'm the one that told you to put this arena. Yeah, that that is true, but I didn't know to be honest that. It no, was no, this was today. random. So this was this this match was so long ago. This was like in February. Yeah, I know. We had this match ever since fucking February. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but it's pretty funny how it actually landed on the day of WrestleMania. So we're going in order. So I think that's pretty cool how how they did that. Well, you know, apparently it was, it was on the same day. So, you know, it makes this video more epic now. Right. You know, since we're basically at the half point before uh, WWE 14, all right, we're, we're going to name it the other matches, even though we have a Sunday. You know, we'll see later on. But, uh, you know, so far, who do you think is top dog Superstar of the Year? 
and most exciting to watch. Go. All right. All right. Superstar of the year has to be Shawn Michaels, hands down. I, I have seen nothing but carnage from this man. Like, I don't know. Like, like this guy has infinite fucking titles. It, it, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, like this man's unstoppable one-on-one -on -one competition. That's all I got to say. The most exciting? That's pretty hard. There's a couple of, of candidates for this one. First of all, Shawn Michaels again. Because the sweet chin music to the fucking resurrection comes out of nowhere. Then you got Stone Cold with the fucking stunners out of nowhere. You got Cena that does a comeback and gets AAs in and out of his asshole. And, you know, then there's Lesnar with fucking the triple power bombs every fucking five seconds. Right back with the random fucking meat hook clotheslines. So for that one, I I'm, I can't really choose you. I gotta wait. What about Ziggler, yo? What? Ziggler. Ziggler. Well, Z Ziggler because of the zigzags. So there's a lot. I, I'm, I'm, I know that there's more that I haven't said, but there's a lot for that one. Like, I, what, I can't. About, what about the most impressive feat? All right. Hmm. I gotta think about this one. I know. I know what it is already. You already I mean, know when what I it is? when I say it, you're gonna you're gonna agree. All right. What is it? Uh, the three title defenses in a row. Oh yeah, true, true. It has to be. Yeah. Yep. 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 It has to be. It has to be. Uh, Shawn Michaels. It has to be. Yep. Hands down. So, yeah. the amazing feat, Shawn Michaels. Guaranteed. Superstar of the year, Shawn Michaels. Guaranteed. Match of the year. Match of the year. Oh, my God. Oof. Uh, I'm going to go with the 51-minute one. Oh, we're not even up to it yet. It doesn't matter. They haven't seen it. We're just not going to say what the victor is. All right. All right. You, you really think so? That yeah. match wouldn't end, though. Fucking A. Yeah, look at Sean Michaels. Look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh oh. Hunter. On Infinite time. Infinite. On the title? On the title. Yeah, <laughs> so it hurts more. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Double pin, double pin by DX. What the fuck is this? Wow. Oh, oh I thought he had it for that one. Oh, man. Uh oh, for you. Oh, to the fucking resurrection. All credit goes for Al Pacino. Just put that in there. And another point. Like, how many points do these fuckers have, man? Ridiculous. These gentlemen. Fucking A. Never ends. It's almost two and a half minutes. Shit. I know, I know you're the OMG moment of the year. Double Roman Reigns. Oh, double Roman Reigns, hands down. That was in the last ma the last video, right? In the last match? Yep. Oh. Oh, I want to see it again. Uh-oh. That's it. Finish. It. Here we go. Another shell shot for the infinite time. Every finisher went off infinite. Oh, to the fucking resurrection. Here we go. Uh-oh. That's five to the fucking resurrection. He's like, he's like daddy. He's like daddy. Get the <laughs> Fucking points! Infinite! I hope you know it's high. It's high, 9-9. Nine, nine. With a minute and 45 seconds left on the clock. Who will win? Who will become the tag team champions? Yo, tag team of the year. Tag team of oh, man. Oh. <sighs> to be honest, these are the only two candidates. I, I have to go with father and son. Yeah. I, I, I have not seen the amount of carnage these gentlemen do. First of all, the double Roman Reigns, the double finisher, I think, was also in the last match, if I remember correctly. A shell shock and a fucking F5 together, you can say. Alright, fine. One went first, but one's quicker. But you know what I mean? It's the same shit. But, you know, that's pretty fucking impressive. I've never seen that before. Uh, w one quick thing. You can only catch this and more from Joey Jr. Joey Jr. 93's copy of WB13 slash every other fucking game. So I'm just putting that in there. Because WB14 will be the same. So, you know, too many epic matches, and that's it. Oh, look at this, look at this. Another point. The points do not fail. Uh-oh. Almost 30 seconds. Oh, my goodness. Your favorite part is the last minute. It's my favorite part, too. Every anything happens in this last fucking minute. Shit, 30 seconds away. Uh-oh, uh-oh, for you, for you. 
again. Uh oh. Oh, Lesnar. Oh, ten seconds left. Wow. Here we go. It's almost it's over. Right now. Here we go. Here we go. That's it, they, they regain the titles. Here are your winners, and the new WWE Tag Team Champions, DX, Triple H, and Shawn Michaels. But, this video is coming to an end. This is Joey Jr. 93, a.k.a. you know it already. We hope you guys like the video, and the WrestleMania 29 results, and show off.